hope you all are doing well. We just have four more weeks together at the art barn. So I'm excited to share today's art project with you. Hi friends. We've been having such beautiful weather in the month of May so far. I thought we would do a project inspired by all of the trees that are flowering. And for this project, I'd like you to find a few special materials. If you happen to have a straw lying around your house and maybe up in your bathroom, a few Q-tips which you are going to bind together using a rubber band or hair elastic to make a brush for our flowers. So this project is inspired by a Japanese style of painting. And in Japan in the spring, cherry blossoms are a really important flower to celebrate. And so we are gonna make cherry blossom paintings together today. So what you're gonna to do to make your tree trunk and branches is you are gonna use a very wet, drippy brush to start to paint your tree trunk. And you wanna make sure that your paint is nice and soupy because you're gonna use your straw as a tool to blow your branches. But before you start, it's important to test that you are blowing air out of the straw and not sucking it in because paint would not taste very good. So you can practice on your hand and if you're blowing out, you should feel air on the palm of your hand. And this might be familiar to some of our third graders who are learning how to play the recorder in music. It's also important to take breaks while you're painting so that you can breathe normally. So I'm gonna add another branch. And then now that I've had a few deep breaths, I'm going to use my straw again to blow some more. And this is how I'm going to start my cherry blossom painting. In Japan, cherry blossoms are called sakura. So you are going to make a sakura painting. So your finished painting might look something like this one. And the last step 
is to use a pen to write your name from top to bottom. So in the United States, we write from left to right, and in Japan, you sign your name from top to bottom. And if your painting maybe turned out a little bit differently than what you were imagining, that's totally okay. In Japan, there's a phrase called wabi-sabi, and it means the ability to find beauty in the imperfections. I hope you enjoyed painting your cherry blossoms and learning a little bit about Japanese brush painting. We're going to end our art barn class for today by opening the red box. Today's quote relates to all the beautiful mayflowers that are popping up. And it's by a former first lady who was married to President Johnson. And she said, where flowers bloom, so does hope by Lady Bird Johnson. And I have a flower inspired riddle to share with you all. Did you hear that Simba got all dressed up? Some might say he was real dandy lion. Have a great week!